Hello, everybody. Hello, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to more Fortnite news. I do apologize for all of you guys who used to watch our Fortnite news episodes. Took a bit of a break. You know, over the past two, three weeks, I wasn't really enjoying the Fortnite game itself, and so took a bit of a step away. But now we are back. Of course, other news out there. Some breaking news. We've heard FaZe Clan leaking their roster. Several teams out there kicking players. Most importantly today, though, we talk about Tifu and his ever-growing, I say that uh, unironically enough, his neck infection. It was actually several days ago he first started complaining about the swollenness in his neck. What's wrong, dude? Look at my neck, dude. You see that? Eventually, he got antibiotics to help it treat this. It did not work, and so yesterday he tweeted out that apparently he was going to the emergency room, and just this morning, as of a couple of hours ago, he did update us on the situation, although unfortunately enough, TLDR, for all of you guys who are curious, it's still not fixed. I don't know. I don't know yet. I went into the ER, but they CT scanned me and they couldn't tell what it was, so I had to go see another doctor. And despite all the jokes out there, it seems very poorly timed. You know, the Corinna stuff had broken out about this and people saying, oh, it must have been her. So despite that being maybe a funny joke, it does seem like it could be a very serious issue. I was very surprised to see him streaming today, although he has apparently no clue what it's going to uh, do or what it actually is. Hopefully he was told he could stream and talk because that's not an area of the body you really want to risk streaming and talking a lot if it's already swollen. Hopefully going to be resolved as well because uh, you could say almost more importantly despite this being hopefully nothing too serious even more importantly as well the world qualifiers the open qualifiers for a world cup the most competitive tournament and qualifiers likely in the history of Fortnite, are just three weeks away and although i will say a neck injury or this is probably not going to hinder him too much it's definitely not going to help him and what's going to be probably the hardest thing to qualify for he and along others uh, many other pro players out there have ever tried to qualify for so updates for all of you guys unfortunately enough today i will keep you guys posted in the future but today there are no updates updates as to what Tifu's illness is or infection is, but hopefully coming soon it will be resolved and uh, treated with accordingly. But also on top of that, Epic CEO himself, that being Tim Sweeney, actually not taking to Twitter. We've seen plenty of Epic management and staff take to Twitter to express their thoughts out there and take out their trash talk. Tim Sweeney, though, doing it on a TechCrunch forum as well as an interview as well. He does it the more formal way, guys. He takes this website to talk about how the rise of Apex Legends has not made a single dent to Fortnite and their success so far, and he did so by dropping the hardcore facts. He first off uh, makes a, a statement out there on the website. I'll link the full interview down below for all of you as well. And this guy just straight up says, we are very close hitting 250 million Fortnite players. We've gained an Apex Legends worth of Fortnite players, which is amazing. And if you guys do not know, ever since its launch six weeks ago, Apex Legends has actually gained 50 plus million players. So pretty much Mr. Sweeney, Tim himself is saying, hey, by the way, in the same amount of time, in the last six, seven weeks, Fortnite has, as well has also gained 50 million players. So he just drops that one off. He also further says as well, we had a Fortnite non-event peak twice after Apex was out. We haven't seen any visible cut into Fortnite. It's a funny thing. The only game you can see where it's peak cut into Fortnite playtime is FIFA. It's another game for everybody, wildly popular around the world. So pretty much Mr. Sweeney and also backed up by several other sources out there. It was actually Super Data. I will link it down below for all of you. Their recent release as well also places Fortnite on top of Apex, number five and six for the top grossing games uh, during the February month months and along with that of course many of you guys have heard as well Apex Legends breaking the record for battle royales in launch months grossing 90 plus million dollars but even with that record breaking number they are still below Fortnite in terms of gross uh, gross income throughout the month of February which goes to show you Fortnite is still grossing more than Apex during Apex's I guess you could say growing into their peak month I'm very curious what March is going to be like as well as April because if you guys do follow Apex Legends they have now released their battle pass which was not included in those February income so it's gonna be very curious to see how both these battle royales do play it out apex breaking their records But Fortnite certainly based off the data and based off mr Sweeney remains king and remains on top and likely to only do so in the future as well Because remember like we said earlier around the tifu issue We are coming up on the biggest Fortnite event ever the 10 weeks of following up to the World Cup qualifiers 1 million dollars per week the actual World Cup and the tens and tens of million millions of dollars there and the closing weeks of 2019 also 1 million dollars dollars per week. Fortnite, in my opinion, you guys can share your thoughts down below as well. We'll remain king for the time being. It's after 2019 where I begin to question where both these games will go. They are certainly both doing a great job so far. I'm just really curious to see where they will end up in the future. As always, my name is Jake. I hope you guys all enjoy Fortnite news. Hopefully back here more with more Fortnite news as the game kind of recaptures my attention. We've had a few updates out there that I just was like, I thought they were lackluster and kind of lost interest, but hopefully I am back and hopefully you guys all enjoy. Until next time. 
Take care.